Hi everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm going to go through the AI Rewriter and just show you how that you can use it. So basically, I've got a project open here, which is come for bedbug service. I've done a search for bedbug services, Florida, United States, and I'm getting all of this content, meta titles, etc. And obviously, I'll put them up there. I always spit them out into this, and then I've got my content here. Give it that space there. So basically, obviously what I would normally do with this is take it, put it into a, like a Google Doc or something like that, and formulate it into different sections. Because what I do is I basically take the titles, like the H1s, the H2s, what I found, and I will then block them out. Now normally what I can do, I can, out of this one poll here, I can create four or five documents quite easily. Four or five documents of a thousand words. You know, it doesn't take as long to do. And then I've got it. But now with the rewriter, that makes it even better because them four or five documents, what I create, I can then put in the rewriter and you'll see what will happen to them four or five documents. So let's just take this content here. So see, I've formulated this, and this is going to be my document. Um, so it's just, oh, we'll go down to here. Okay, so just copy that lot, and let's just drop it into here. So I've got 625 words in there. Okay, so from there, then all I have to do is look down here. So the count of rewrites, okay, now that goes from anywhere from one to four. And what that basically does is it will rewrite each, this thing up to four times. So you get four versions of it, okay? So let's do four. Now you can use this to like, I want to rewrite less content. So basically it'll only rewrite a few words on each uh, of the paragraphs. I want to rewrite more, or basically I want to rewrite just about as much as I can rewrite. I'm leaving it on rewrite more. I've had to play about with it, and rewrite more seems to be fine. It's going to do it, and the way I'm going to show you how to do it, it'll be more than easy to pass copy scale. So we've got here bedbugs are choosy. Da -da -da -da. In fact, let's do that. Let's do that, do that. And chuck this in the copy scale. Chuck it in there, do a premium search. And I've got 10 results. So, all right, we've got four. So if we do a rewrite, We've got everything set up, so I've gone through here. I'll pick me four. I'll pick me rewrite more, and we do rewrite. So it's going away, and it's working on it. Now, if you just give it a minute or so, and it'll come back to you. Well, not even a minute, really, but there you go. So as you can see, I've got four unique versions. So I've got bedbugs don't choose their homes. Bedbugs can infest homes. Bed bugs won't be choosy and will infest any home. And bed bugs aren't picky and they will infest even the best kept homes. Okay, so each one of them is a totally different article, but it means exactly the same thing. So if I just take this one now, number four, and just put it in a copy scope. And there we go, we've got no results. So let's, so let's do number three. Oops, had some left there. No results again. Number two. Why didn't I do that? 
no results again. And finally, no results again. So all four of them are completely unique. Okay, so that's good because I can now use each one of them on four different properties. And then, of course, I can run this again. But another thing what you can do is if you hit the braces down here, it now spins each of them paragraphs. So they're going to be even more unique because when this gets unspun, you're going to have paragraph uh, sentence one, sentence two, sent, you know what I mean, from all the different paragraphs. And because it's not spinning per word, it's spinning per sentence, when you do something like this and drop it into here, this is the one I was testing with earlier, you put it in there and you'll go compile. Bed bugs aren't choosy. They'll infest even the most well-kept homes. Now, personally, I would take that out. Well, now if we do it again, that's done that, do it again. Bed bugs can invest homes of all kinds. Bed bugs aren't piggy and they will infest even the best kept homes. Do not wait for contact with bed bugs have infested your home. And then you got, if they've moved in with you, don't wait to call in our pros. Every one of them sentences reads perfectly. And like I say, if we take the whole lot now, because we had all four were unique. So if I now do that. And oops, wrong one. And put that into there. And now do a compile. And it has brought everything in, which is cool. Got a bit of spacing problem, but and put it in there. And it's obviously it's going to be unique. So now with like the AI writer part of um, page rewriter, it's just took away the need for any other tools because you don't need spin rewrite now because you can just rewrite it and then spin the sentences. And if you think about it, if you've got, I don't know how many paragraphs I've got there, but if you've got 20 paragraphs in a page, then you've got 20 to the power of four combination of what you can get which is like sort of a huge number. Uh, I'm not going to work it out because my maths in my head's not that good, but it's a lot, a lot of content which is going to be spun. So it's, it makes life easy because you're going to get content, which is the best content you can get out there because it's come from page one. Google loves it. You're going to then put it into AI Writer and basically what you're going to do is just rewrite it properly you create four copies of it and you then spin it that content is then perfect for your magic page sites okay so that's like how the i writer works now the other things you've got is these three little uh, icons up the top and uh, you've got an export option here which does as it says on the tin you click on it and it will export it you can do it as one article, two articles, three articles, or all four articles. Now, all it does when you do like sort of all four, it will just export it. And all it does is export it into an HTML. Okay. And then all you will need to do, you can open it and use it like that. Am I going to be exporting stuff? Not really, because I don't need to. Because what I'm going to be doing, is using this one here, which is the copy function. And this is the one I'm going to probably be copying from your magic page site. So I'm going to copy this one and go copy. And then I'm going to take it over and put it in to a text document like that. And it's all spun for me. And then I can add them sections on I mean, what I would probably do is put each one of these 
into a spin tech short code. So that basically I can change them later if I feel like it quite easily. Um, but that's done. But then if I wanted to say put some on like web 2.0, I'll just go to here and say, oh, well, I'll just copy this one then. And drop it into there. Okay. And then basically you've got your content there for your web 2.0s. And obviously, if this one here, which you can do, you can have a look and you press on that. And it highlights what's changed, what's not changed. Okay. So bed bugs haven't changed, which is what you don't want to change anyway. Um, homes hasn't changed. And things like that. So you can have a look. Obviously, that one's got a lot of yellow on. So number two, but we still saw that it was totally unique according to CopyScape, even with all that yellow on. So if you put it on rewrite most, it would definitely be different, but you might not get the quality. I like the rewrite more. It's in the middle and it works. Okay. So that is AI rewriter. Basically, you get your content, you pull it in, you formulate it how you want it. Like I say, I use like all these titles and put stuff underneath them. You pick up your content, you put it into this side, you choose your number of rewrites you want, one, two, three, or four. You choose whether you want to rewrite less, more, or the most, and then you press rewrite. And then you get however many rewrites across here, and the spun version is there. And that basically is page rewriter, AI rewrite for you. Hope that was useful, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next video. Bye.